Did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So? What do you think? Crispy critters! Quiet, damn it! There's something dangerous up ahead. Shit! Are you off your nut? Is this some kind of joke? Shh, shh. You could you could wake it up at any time. In two hours' time, when the pesticide reaches critical low, it'll wake up. Do you understand? I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA 400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, a container. Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder, or we're screwed! Shit, that thing is huge. Why the hell would they make something like that? It was the unexpected result of a bold scientific experiment. You eggheads and your bold fucking experiments. Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. Please select the desired procedure. Entry number one, April 16th. The mutations... What? Down! Schnitzel! Bad dog! Ah, uh, where was I? The mutations caused by the polymer are progressing. After a month of observing CP388, codename Hamlock, I've observed some unusual behavior. The plant nourishes itself by endocytosis and has developed a way to identify where it's receiving its nutrient mixture from and extends its stems in the corresponding direction. Uh, honey, what's for dinner?
Please help me. You've got to plant seeds in me. Sorry, I... what? I know I'm dead. I don't want to be a useless My body could become soil. My colleagues and I will leave a trace. We were working for the good of the Soviet Union. This is... crazy. We put a lot of effort into these new plant species. This will be my way of saying goodbye to them. I won't hold it against you if you refuse, but... They'll probably cremate you. There are way too many dead bodies around here. Cremate me? I never thought of that. What a waste. I could have brought new life into the world. I definitely can't help you with that. Okay. Try to stay alive. This can't be happening. It's like a bad trip. Log number two, April 19th. I've been studying the hemlock particles under a microscope. And the, the schnitzel! I've noticed that the slime mold genes have become dominant. Endocytosis has been... Oh, sh shoot! Reduced. This, well... It explains how the plant feeds itself. I'm grabbing stem on the super you're one uh, sick uh, motherfucker. Uh, what are you eating this time? Schnitzel! Drop it! Bad dog! Anyway. Uh, later. <laughs>
This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed. Sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us.
Suspended electromagnetic platforms, control panels all over the shop. <laughs> Some system they got here. What fuck wad came with all this shit? Another poor bastard. Picked the wrong hiding place. Quiet! There's a mutant nearby. He won't find us here. We should be safe. Oh, the lights went out. The only light that went out was yours, buddy. For good. So I'm dead? I have to admit, the thought pad crossed my mind. You weren't wrong. See ya. Hey, Charles, if I get killed, will I turn into a talking dead too? Will I just lay there in a corner mumbling half-intelligible bullshit? It's hard to say. On the one hand, you don't have any neuropolymer memory. On the other, your body has undergone a high degree of polymerization. So... yes or no? We lack the data to make the determination. There's only one way to find out. Uh... I think I'll pass. Thanks.
We need to hurry. Crispy critters, I'm trying. Situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? Level decreased. Now at two percent. We're all going to die. Okay with me. You first. Out of PA 400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. You gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in range! We gotta run before it... Hang on! God damn it! The oh, fuck! My leg! You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, we're dead! Amy better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! Fuck! Oh. No! Help me! Get it off me! Yeah. Hang on, buddy. Ah. I'm coming! Ah. Oh, shit! The fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes... ...is to do nothing. Uh-huh. 
just like me and Patrol. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3.
Charles. They didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Oh, what a pain in the ass. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. Cryopolymer canister connected. Great. The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see- We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Hold on. I want to check something out first. Well, are we ready now? Let's go. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This 
is seriously messed up. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solichnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go.